right, here we are, Matt. We're here. I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I promise I won't keep eating it. And the mouth noises are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking the most despised beer. This is like the nickelback of beers. You first love it, then you hate it, and then everyone hates it and you feel sorry for it, and so you like it again. But also it's kind of good. Let's have a look. Up your bum, as they say in Australia. So I passed the civics test today, and so all of the obstacles have been cleared for me to become an American. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. So uh, that'll be happening. I guess they, they said they're going to send me a letter, and then I will be sworn in uh, in a month or so. A ton of paperwork. I obviously got married in 2006, got my green card a few years after that. And so filled out the paperwork, went in, and there's a hundred questions they give you that you have to kind of know the answers to. You have to know all of them? No, it, that would be cool. But you, you have to know all of them because they ask you 10 questions out of those 100. Oh, okay. And you have to get six right out of the 10 that they ask. Wait, see... You have to have a... So you have to know 60%. Yeah, I love that both of us was like, yeah, I think that's the right math. No, I'm I'm not confused about the math. Yep. I feel like the standard should be higher. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was that or just cross the Mexico I'm not saying border. I'm happy. That, like, I'm not saying I'm not happy you passed. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the standard should definitely well, be higher. Well, I mean, I've got this sham marriage going on for 17 years. That took time and effort. All right, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that was the hardest bit. But yeah, no, it was cool. Oh, was that is a good point. Somebody in the chat asked why your accent didn't go away. My son asked me that in the car. He said, uh, Dad, so when you become American, will your voice change? Which was the most beautiful question. Peter did? Or? Mm -hmm. oh. Peter did, yeah. So today, on today's little show, what we want to do is talk a little bit about that interview. I want to tell you a funny story about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I'm sorry, what's happening to my voice right now? Oh! <laughs> And Budweiser, I got a funny story about Budweiser when I was a kid. And then we're going to review an article from Babylon B. Here's the here's the title: "Shocking study shows more kids identifying as members of world's most celebrated popular group." We'll look at that, and then I want to look at the Tekken Eight trailer because I was big into Tekken back when I was a teen, and I didn't didn't even know the. Tekken 5 had come out, little in Tekken 8. So that's what we're going to do. Can you move the window to the left a little? I'm going to grab this and do that. Yeah. A little more? A little more? Yeah. I like it there. Yeah, so it was good. Um, yeah, it's awesome. It's really great. Like, I, I really love this country. And I'm excited to be on the boat just as it's descending into the cold, dark depths of chaos. I'm really glad to be part of it. I really am. Yeah, um, we're happy to have you. Yeah. Like, the more I learn about your constitution and checks and balances and the origin of your country, and I'm, I, it's pretty cool. And I'm really honored to be to live here. I know that that sounds like something that I should say or... I don't know, people with a conservative audience should say. That's not why I'm saying You sound it. like actually, you're more patriotic than I am, to I, be honest. I, yeah, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, given the way that this country's going, like I told you the other day, like, apparently we're paying for sex changes for prisoners. And I said to you, this country doesn't deserve to exist. That's probably also true. But yeah, maybe I don't, don't, I don't, don't deserve maybe to exist don't either. say that on the internet. Okay. I don't deserve to exist either, and yet I do. And uh, very glad about that. Um... Yeah, so it's cool. Yes, and I showed up. The questions were so easy. They're not Which always Which ones easy. did you get? I was actually asked, who is our current president? I said, Dr. Jill Biden. Is that her name? Yep. Um, Donald Trump. No, I didn't. Anyway, that was super easy, super great. All right, so here's the Budweiser story. Do you remember, because you're much younger than me, when you were a teenager... Did you ever pretend to like beer around your friends? No, because mm. I didn't start drinking until I was 19 at mom's. Well, 
the first time I tried to drink beer, we it was probably like 16, 15, 16. We'd just kind of sneak beer away and stuff. And I hated it. And I think most 15-year-olds probably don't like beer as much as they're saying that they do. They just say it because it looks cool. So my friend Jake and I kept hearing about this thing called Budweiser. All the movies have Budweiser in it. I thought, gee, maybe that's what I'm missing out. All this beer in Australia sucks, but Budweiser must be like even better than Coca-Cola. And so a friend of mine and myself asked his mum to order us a six pack of Budweiser from the local Bottolo beer shop. And we had to wait a couple of months for it to come in because this is back in the mid 90s. I think it was a couple of months. It may have been shorter. And it finally came in and we were really excited and we drove to the store and my friend's mum pretended that she was the one buying it because obviously that would have been illegal and it was. And uh, we came home, we put them in the fridge and we were getting really amped up. We went to the video store, b- bought a VHS tape of some description and uh. cracked them open and it was just like Foster's. It was just like beer. And I was so disappointed, but I think I just pretended that it was really good beer. So now I'm in two deep lies that I can't get out of. Okay. People, people in town do genuine judge me because genuinely, I don't know if you know this, so you may not be able to confirm it, but my two favorite beers to drink, like if you give me a choice and you're like at a restaurant, you can order anything. I will order Yingling or Mm -hmm. I will order PBR. It's, I have a little respect for that. Like I just... Very those cool. I like those, and I know I like them, ever, and so I don't get anything else. Ever since Peter Kreeft roasted me for having that peanut butter beer, he looked at me with such disgust. I I remember I, that. Yeah, I, I was repented. like, wow. So now, no, it's good. It's good, decent beer. I don't really drink beer a lot, to be honest with you. But um, anyway, so there was that. Okay, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is something you always hear about in Australia because you watch American television. But in Australia, jelly means something different to what it means here. It means like jello, right? Yes. That's what jelly is in Australia. If you have jelly, you're having jello. I only know that because I've seen the first episode of the British office. Oh, well, that's right. He put his stapler in jelly. He says, I, he put my stapler in jelly. Mate. So one day I got this idea. I came home. I got peanut butter. And of course, our peanut butter isn't nearly as sweet as American peanut butter because there's usually no sugar in it. But peanut butter, we call it peanut paste in Australia. So peanut paste. That sounds significantly less appetizing. Uh, So you'd always put butter and then peanut paste. And then I went into the fridge and I pulled out a bowl of jello, which we call jelly. And I put it on and I spread it across. And I had no idea why Americans loved it so much. (laughs) That is, the butter is... Correct, actually. Though. Oh, I so want to eat this, but I just don't want to put people through me eating it. I'll Hold eat on, it I can mute you. And I, oh, can you really? And I can tell people the correct way to oh, make yeah. a peanut butter and jelly. All right, can you mute me? Ready? Yeah, you're muted. Okay, go. So while we silently watch Matt eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, so good. Um, The correct way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is to toast the bread, obviously. And then mm. you butter both pieces of bread. And then... You put peanut butter on both pieces of bread. This is the best. Uh-huh. Um, so that the jelly doesn't make the bread soggy. Mm. And then you spread the jelly in there. And you close that bad boy up. And you you will need to wrap it in like a paper towel. Mm-hmm. Because peanut butter will melt. And so you mm. get this very creamy texture from the peanut butter because it's warm, but it will drip out if you're not careful. Now, whenever you're finished chewing and swallowing, we can go back. But until then, I'm going to talk about other Keep things going. that are happening. Uh, the, the, this is, there's another great hack. If you toast some bread and uh, uh, take a slice, two slices of American cheese mm-hmm. and then butter the outsides of the bread with salted butter, mm-hmm. and then put the American cheese in the middle with the butter on the outside. Mm. A quick peanut butter and uh, quick uh, grilled cheese-like sandwich, which is delicious. Um, other know. things... Okay, we're good? All right, cool. I was just going to keep naming <laughs> Talking about how quick to make snacks sandwiches. that I made in college and high school. Let me know when I'm back. You're back. No, that was a really good. That, see, I should have asked you before I went ahead and did this. That's excellent. 
I think if it was to be truly American, I would have used, is it Wonder White Bread? Wonder Bread, Wonder dude. Bread. Yeah. It would have been that. You told me you were getting white bread, and then can you hold up for the camera the I bread know. you bought? I'm using sourdough. No, no, in the bag. Dough. In the bag. Oh. I want them to... But you didn't just buy sour... You went to, like, the actual bakery part of Kroger? Yeah. Shame on me. It would have been actually much better with, with Wonder Bread. Anyway. Wonderful. So, looking forward to voting in our next election for whoever I think hates us less. That'll be fun. This is the correct way to vote. Although, I, I like how Anthony Eslin put it. Telling the public that they have any say in what's going on currently is like a flea thinking it can derail a horse from galloping off a mountain. This is why monarchy is better. And I will leave it at that. Speaking of monarchy, the king of beers. All right, King George. All right, so what should we do first? The gay one or the Tekken one? You know, whatever you feel like. I, I like feel like the gay thing is more American because America's <clears throat> just gay. I'd like to apologize to everybody who's going to see me put on these $5 glasses. You should put on the little ones that sit on your nose. Yeah, I have do you two have those? really lame glasses. No, the, those, the other ones are funny, though. Put those on. I have two two glasses that I don't wear really in public because they're just like cheap things. So there's this bad boy. Tell me in the Dude, chat I love which one these you glasses. like more. They're so cool. Well, I tell you, it's not a fashion statement. It just helps no, me reading in bed. It one hundred percent is a fashion statement. All right. So is this on the is this on the thing here? Yeah, it's up now. <gasps> Shocking study. Show I haven't read this yet. By the way. Shocking study shows more kids identifying as members of world's most celebrated popular group. Imagine. World. <laughs> a shocking Gallup poll has <coughs> revealed that a rapidly increasing number of kids in Generation Z, that's you, are now identifying as members of the world's most celebrated popular group. Again, you. <laughs> wait, wait, did you just call me gay? <laughs> We're absolutely stunned by this, said so sociologist Dr. Veg Dergman. We can't begin to explain why young impressionable kids who are desperate for popularity and affirmation are suddenly choosing to become members of the most popular and affirmed group in human history. Every single movie, TV show, corporation, TikTok influencer, YouTuber, <laughs> public school teacher, pop star and Hollywood star in the country openly promotes and celebrates this group. Huh, that's you. You're a YouTuber. You're wrecked. Ah, why on earth would... That's what I'm doing right now, I guess. I'm... Yeah. Why on earth would teenagers want to be part of that? It must be biology. Oh, nice. Gallup results indicate almost 20% of Gen Z identify as members of this culturally beloved movement, with the other 80% being pathetic losers. <laughs> Sources say membership in the group is growing every year as pressure on young people to join the group from literally every single idol, peer, and authority figure in their lives continues to mount. It used to be that kids had to be smart, good-looking, or athletic to be popular, but many are finding it much easier to simply identify as popular, <laughs> said behavioral scientist Dr. Tim Thwain in response to the poll. Dang, I sure wish I had that when I was young. At publishing time, the percentage of Gen Z kids in the group had increased by 35%. <laughs> Update, it's now 42. All right, very good. There are real studies about this. Do you know this? No. But it doesn't surprise me at all. They did a they did a case study. I forget what it was. It was a school in Britain, and they found that you could track. And this is a real study, so uh, they found that you could um, track similar to how you track um, a viral spread Ooh. in a group. Yeah. You could track people identifying as gay or trans obviously in a school setting similar to how you identify viral spread based on yeah. how much time they spend with each other the levels the levels of exposure mm -hmm. the severity of the other like how how far like uh from gay to trans like how extreme the identifying is and you could track it similar to that um and so hmm. yeah it's actually quite interesting yeah that doesn't surprise me at all yeah, wow, well, there you go. All right, so Tekken 8. When I was a kid, I played Tekken 1 at the arcade and loved it. I was martial law, and I would do that bicycle kick over people's faces, up their belly and chest. Anyway, and uh, then I think I got into Tekken 3, and I was pretty good. 
but I actually ha- didn't realize that there was a Tekken 8. I figured there was like a 4 or 5, maybe a 6. I didn't know. I haven't kept up with it. So here we go. Can I hear the sound if I play this? No, they can't. I can unmute it and they can hear it, though, if you want. But will to. it go through this? No, you won't be able to. That's right. As long as they can. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set? Yep. Wow. Oh, very cool. It's amazing how... Well, I'll let it go. It's unreal. Unreal Engine 5 is absolutely nuts, by the way. Okay. Get ready for the next battle. I am. Oh, Ooh. look at that hair. Look at that hair. It's like there's a little balloon inside of it. <laughs> and he's had to, you know... Whenever you make that sound, I feel like I've said something very inappropriate. When I make that sound, it's me thinking, should I add that to the list of Matt out of context uh, things? Look at this. That is so cool. This was such a fun game. This was probably oh, the... Hey, the keyboard. It's muted. Click the key on the keyboard. The key? There's a key on the keyboard with a mute next to it. Oh. On the far it's left. It's okay. It's okay. almost done. People can go look it up themselves if they want to. This does look really amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I was big in a Mortal Kombat when that first came out. You remember that? Or do you not? I mean, you probably remember Mortal Kombat, but not the early uh, I remember Mortal Kombat. I never played fighting games. The I first was... fighting game I played was Smash Brawl. Okay. Is that like Smash Bros or something? Yeah, Super Smash Bros Brawl. It was the Wii one. Time to finish this. Oh, is this like a fatality thing? Yeah, I mean, they've got their finisher moves. Yeah, but I don't think they used to. Oh, do they not? Uh, if memory serves, yeah, that looks really cool. So, um, yeah, Mortal Kombat always had the fatality that you could do, where you could, like, rip a person's spine out of their back. But Tekken, I don't think, ever had anything like that. Um, so I'm not sure. Very cool. I'd have to play it. Well, everybody, thank you very much for your for your well wishes and your thoughts. Uh, I told my locals community that I was going to do this test today, and... Yeah, it's really glad to so, pass it. You, we did. We did. Can we talk about the test? I want to know what questions you got asked. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's questions like, or well, the questions I got asked were actually quite simple. Um, so the longest, one of the two longest rivers in the United States, the Mississippi and the Colorado, right? And the Missouri. Oh, really? The Missouri's longest. Yes, and then you know. Who who did America fight in the Second World War? Germany and Japan and Italy. People and forget you have about, to say Italy. You do. Really? People forget That's about Italy. That's kind of dumb. Um, and then you know who was? Do you want me to ask you these questions? Because I yeah, don't want say, to put you on, the, t- on the spot. No, it's all good. Like who was the president during the First World War? Uh, it was Wilson, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good job. And then who was the president during the Great Depression and the Second World War? The Great Depression started under Hoover, and then the president during the Second World War was FDR. Yeah. So they probably wanted FDR, but it it did start under Hoover. That's so cool. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. Because they used to call all the shanty towns in big cities during the beginning of the Great Depression. I think they used to call them Hoover hovels or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but then the questions I got were just about the river and the you know, longest river, and then uh, you know what what is a state that borders Mexico? What is a state that borders Canada? Or what is the ocean Texas. on the west coast? Yeah. So you you got Texas, you got California, you got New Mexico, and Arizona. I think that's all. I'm looking up other citizenship questions. Oh no. Oh. I want to stress eat that peanut butter jelly sandwich if it wasn't going to be too loud. Okay, so these first ones seem kind of simple. I know Hillsdale does a course on the Constitution. I'd like to take that. But that's just me. What is the... Wow, these are... Some of these... Some of these are really simple, and some of them are really hard. I probably won't know the answer, but you can ask. How many senators? That one's pretty... A hundred. Two parts of the house? 
Yeah, the what? What is or that? Two parts of the Congress, House, and House Senate. and Senate. Yeah. Yeah. How long is the Senate elected for? Six years. Six years. Uh, Answer at home. Oh, name two cabinet level positions. The Secretary of Agriculture and the Secretary of, I don't know, Education, probably. Yep. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, Just say a word after Secretary of Trains. Who is the governor of your current state? Yes, Mike DeWine. Mike DeWine. Boom. Uh, Take that, America. Oh, uh, what is a responsibility only United States citizens can do? Vote in a federal election. That's, I'm not going to get all of these. I, I didn't... You haven't missed one yet. I didn't study really hard. I just... What else? Let's do, let's do one. Let's do them until I fail, which will be post-haste. Until you miss one? Yeah, which won't be long. Uh, what group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? The Africans, yep. Uh, there was a video the other day that some conservative group did on campus where they go to a university and ask basic American questions and make everyone look like an idiot. I don't like that because I don't like the feeling all of the viewers have, like they're superior and how stupid these people are. Oh, you'll get that one wrong for sure. Uh, who oh, is the me. father of our country? George Washington. Uh, what did you... What did the United What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, name a war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Yep. Uh, name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Civil War. <laughs> name one problem that led to the Civil War. States' rights, slavery, but states' rights and slavery. Uh, what is one important thing Abraham Lincoln did? Free the slaves. Um, read the uh, okay. What did the Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation do? <laughs> Proclaimed emancipation yeah, of the slaves. Yeah. Freedom, okay. Uh, we're on a roll. Okay, here we go. Name we're a war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Oh, like all of them. <laughs> First World War. Second but, World okay, War? so here's the Vietnam. thing. This is me going to be... I'm going to be a jerk about this. Oh, no. The Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Persian Gulf War are all, all listed. However, the United States Constitution says that the president cannot just declare war. He needs approval right. from Congress. And the way they got around the Korean, Vietnam, and Persian Gulf was it was a police action. It was called a police action. Oh. So... What are you policing? Well, you know, the rest of the world. That's why, that's where the whole phrase don't like that. is the rest of the world's I policemen. don't like that as an Australian. Yeah. Well, you're not. For about a month more until I You have to renounce, actually. That's a good <laughs> they, question. They ask if I am going to renounce, I have to renounce allegiances to all princes and royalty. And I'm pretty sure Pope Francis would come under that. So I feel weird about that. Mm. You should talk to Father Jason about that. Mm. Um, who did the United States... Uh, well, this one's during the Cold War. No, that was the, easy. Do the easy one. No, no, the hard one. You already answered. Oh. Like you asked me this one during the Cold War. What was the main concern of the United States? Uh, communism. Yeah, but it was actually spreading our global influence. <clears throat> what? Cool. Uh, name one American Indian tribe. Haha. <laughs> the Ch Cherokee. It sounds like an Indian tribe. Right? Yeah. Crow. Um, crow. Yep. Uh, the, the, I don't know. Uh, we're going to get in trouble here. We're probably going to get in hate speech just by answering the, the correct. Was it cool? You didn't call them like the How red cool men. is <laughs> <It's> like, colonization? <laughs> How epic was the trail of tears? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? Um, come on. I'm why does the flag have 13 stripes? 13 original colonies, baby. Uh, why does the flag have 50 stars? 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? The 4th of July. Name two national holidays. Thanksgiving and the 4th of Independence Day. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Come on, keep going. Oh, let's, let's crack through. I'm going to... I name will 13 mess original states. There were 13 original states. Name three of them. Georgia, New York, and Pennsylvania. Okay. 
Uh, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, when was the Constitution ratified? Uh, That's the one I knew you were going to get wrong. Yeah, good, good idea. Seventeen. Is it seventeen eighty-seven? Holy cow! Yeah, no. Um, Did I get it right? Yeah. Yes. What is the political party of the current president? Democratic. What is the name of the Speaker of the House? Kenneth McCarthy. Oh no! Don't do ah, It's McCarthy. What's his first name? It's not Kenneth, is it? Bugger! I do know what it is. Yes, it is Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. Oh, uh, that doesn't count. I got it. No what is the capital me. of your state? Columbus. Uh, this is great. We could have just done this live stream and they could have awarded me my American. Under our ship. Constitution, some powers belong to the state. What is one power of the states? Uh, issuing driving licenses. Yeah. Would be one. And all state and all things not listed in, and the 10th Amendment says, and all unenumerated things in the Constitution actually belong to the states. Nice. So technically, if it's not in the Constitution, the states get to do it. Hence why Roe was a problem. Mm. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, thank you, Samuel. Uh, Alitos. Thank you, Samuel Alito. Are people still watching this stuff? I there The chat's still moving, so... What, what does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the Supreme Court? What is the highest court in the Supreme Court? <laughs> what is the highest court in the United States? <laughs> the Supreme Court? Uh, like, okay, I can just go... What does the just president's cabinet do? Advises him. Who vetoes bills? The president. Who signs bills? The president. Who is the commander-in-chief? The president. If, if the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Kevin McCarthy! If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If, if the president can no longer serve? Yeah. The vice president. What is the name of the vice president? Kamala Harris. In what month do we vote for president? November. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Why do some states have more representatives than others? Larger population. Who does a U.S. senator represent? The people of his state or that, her state. Okay, that is currently correct, but that is actually <laughs> not the wording of the Constitution. Ah. They represent the state, which is why for a long time the state legislatures elected the senators. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which was actually a measure to, um, because they were supposed to like represent the interests of the state and not necessarily the citizens. It was a measure for the states themselves to have representatives for their rights at the federal government, hmm. which is why we re should return to that. The less voting, the better. Um, name your U.S. representative. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think I know this one. I don't know this one yeah. for sure. Yeah, there's no way. I'd have to Google this one. This might be it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's All right, it. ladies and gentlemen.